Hey, what's up everybody? This is the Classic Tycoon here, and we're back now for episode 3 of the um, Trinity Islands <clears throat> Let's Play series. And in the last one, we built the log flume over there. So we're going to get quite a bit of stuff done today. And um, I think we're going to build, let's just build a bunch of rides, start expanding this thing outwards and see, yeah, just see how far we can go with it in the next 10 minutes here. Log plume's looking good. Just want to check on that periodically, make sure the guests are still okay with the ride length, or the line length, rather. And, um, but that entertainer should be doing its job, just hanging out right there, keeping the guests happy there. I would like to get a roller coaster in that starts making a little bit more money. We'll see if we can do something like that today. We currently don't really have anything researched. Next thing we're going to build, though, um, we do have an information kiosk coming in, and that is um, probably one of the more important things that you want to have in your park is an information kiosk so the guests can have a park map and the guests can have access to umbrellas as well. And that will keep them nice and happy during uh, the rain. So let's throw in this information kiosk, and while we do that here, let's talk a little bit more about what we've kind of discussed in the past couple episodes with the whole ad um, revenue and, and Patreon and all that. I got some feedback from a couple of you guys who are more, you know, some guys who have been watching me for a while, and I really appreciate your feedback. Um, and yeah, I think I'm gonna start putting ads in the videos just to see what kind of re revenue that can bring in for me. Um, it, I'm guessing it's not gonna be much at all, but we're gonna do that first, and I'll hold off on the Patreon account um, for sure for a while. And if I'm seeing absolutely nothing, you know, from the uh, ads, we'll we'll uh, see what happens because I have no idea how. <clears throat> lucrative it is, you know, to, to work for YouTube. I know that some of the huge YouTubers are making tons of money, right? But when you're less than 100 subscribers, you know, I'm wondering if it's even viable to make, you know, $15 a month to start saving towards, you know, um, uh, something that can help out my channel. So we'll see. We'll see what, what kind of revenue it looks like it's going to bring in so anyways yeah thanks for the thoughts on that guys and the feedback i do appreciate it and i want to make sure that the channel stays you know just fun for you guys to watch mainly and that ads aren't going to be annoying or or a nuisance to you guys but you know i watch plenty of youtube myself and ads don't bother me too much um, as long as they're skippable like you guys were talking about and and they're not you know, 10 minutes long, right? So, anyways, um, we just built the information kiosk. Let's throw in some water tricycles here. Uh, since the only other water ride we have right now, as far as, like, boats goes, is the rowboats. So we'll put in some uh, water tricycles here, and then maybe later in the park we can put in some canoes, since we just researched those as well. But this is more just to start bridging uh, the gap between this side of the park and, you know, the uh, the other two islands throughout the park. So we'll get those open there, and then we'll um, let's start getting some more rides built here. I'd like to build maybe a thrill ride as well, even though it's taking a while for us to research stuff. And we're building at a rate that's much faster than we've been researching. So hopefully those start coming in uh, fairly quickly here. But uh, we have researched some important stuff. So, um, All right, the park's looking good. I actually really like this setup. It's looking pretty nice. Let's throw in a twist up here. Again, kind of just one of those throw-in rides. We'll put this guy over here just to have it so that guests have something to do while they walk over to this side of the park. And 
There we go. Next thing in line is a spiral slide, looks like, so we'll probably throw one of those in as well. Now we do have a mini roller coaster. Um, why don't we throw one of those in here? We'll probably do something small. I'm not sure exactly where. I'm kind of thinking about, you know, future of the park, where I want to put roller coasters. Definitely one kind of in the center of the lake right there because it's nice and, you know, makes it nice and flat for you to put in a roller coaster. But um, let's just put in something small right here and see what we can what we can do with it. So I think I'll put it in right here. We're going to make this really small. Um, we'll bring it up to 50 feet. And then maybe just throw in like a helix. I talk about this every time I build mini roller coasters, but the problem with mini roller coasters is that they lose their momentum from the their first hill really quickly. So they end up going really slow and having a hard time making too many hills. So unless you make the, the roller coaster really big, you're going to have some problems with it. So just be careful with that when you're building mini roller coasters. We're going to not do a block break section on this roller coaster. And hopefully they will be going slow enough. And we're going to choose rocket cars, by the way. Hopefully they'll be going slow enough into the station platform that if there is a brakes malfunction, um, they won't crash and explode. <laughs> when they go into the uh, the station platform. Now this is really small, so we'll see what happens with it here. And that's going pretty slow. I think that, that's probably good enough for sure. Alright, let's see what we got. This is a really small roller coaster. Wow, that's her that's those are really low ratings. Um but whatever. We'll throw it in. It'll make us two dollars per guest. That's more than a lot of other rides anyways, so we'll still use it. I don't really want to spend too much uh time or space on a mini roller coaster right now. We'll uh we'll build some good roller coasters later in the series. So the guests seem to be happy with the value of the mini roller coaster. I'm going to go ahead and change the color scheme of this thing. Um, and then I'll change some entrances to the other rides as well because I've kept a lot of them as plain entrances. But I would like to go to some, you know, just more aesthetically pleasing options. So I'll go around and do that quickly here. Including the log flume, the twist there. And now let's throw in the spiral slide. I thought about doing it at the beginning of the park, but maybe if we throw it in over here by the mini roller coaster, it can help with that excitement rating, hopefully. So we'll throw it in right there. All right, so let's just uh, open this up, put in some more do not enter signs so that guests aren't wandering through the park and delete the other ones that we've had so far and that spiral slides good to go so in future episodes here we'll maybe we'll build a roller coaster kinda close to that mini roller coaster see if maybe that can help with the excitement rating of that but um, when it's that low I don't know how much saving you can do of it so it's a little unfortunate, but it looks kind of good where it is, so we'll just keep that there. We did research a mine train coaster, so maybe we'll look forward to doing that in the next video. I, I'm not super familiar with building these roller coasters, but we'll give it a try. That's what this is, Let's Play is all about. I'm going to try new things as well, so thanks for watching this one, you guys. Give it a like if you did like it. Leave me a comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you in the next video.